it's Wasabi, welcome back to the channel. Got a battle on the Karelia map, and we've got Fury from 1AR in the Mad Corps. It's an all tier 10 battle, and there's one light tank on each side, both Medicors, so it's been a bit of a Medicor battle. Okay, just gonna head to this um, little rock here on the side of the um, hill. Um, this will basically allow him to escape if he gets challenged by going up the hill and um, gives him good spotting as well. So he's already spotted one of the um, heavy tanks crossing and another one. So it's uh, yeah, three really spotted tanks so far. Oh, two, sorry for him. Oh, no, he's been spotted, okay. So what is that? Probably the medical, there you go, dodges the uh, coming round for that. But he also picks up some assisted damage on the enemy medical. So, basically spotting each other, so that's uh, interesting. Now he's got a chance to put some damage into this his DB1. Notices him just as he fires, and he doesn't get the chance to respond, but oh, he's been shot across the map by E4. That was a big hit. But no, um, yeah, he's still got uh, 860 hit points, so it can basically last a little bit longer in this battle, you would think. And there's more blind shots coming in. So it's interesting that yeah, E4, a very lucky shot right across the map to a fairly low profile tank, so and I'm sure Fury will want his revenge on that. Oh, we spotted again. How now? How's he getting spotted there? Or well, must have moved forward there, I think. But uh, luckily, he can't be shot from where he is, um, unless the Medicore fires back and his team losing hit points at a fast rate. They're now 5,000 hit points behind. And that's where they think the uh, Medicore might be sitting. So here he might still be spotted, actually. Uh, but. Uh, Let's see what happens. Anyway, he's trying to keep some bushes between him and where that medical might be. And spotted a um, FB183 there. It starts to pick up some more assisted damage there. Oh, and there's the E4. Yeah, right the other side of the map there. Just what a lucky shot that was to hit the Manticore. But um, ends the brakes. Now it's still the issue of where is the enemy medical. So if he comes back down and he's spotted a Waffen Trager E100. Again this is uh, made at the time that the um, Mooney event is on so there's some rental Waffen Tragers in the game. In fact there's uh, three on three on uh, Fury side and two on the other side. So uh, there's the enemy one there, right up there. And he's starting to get uh, some revenge on the E4, picking up some assisted damage there. And also on the um, Waffle Dragon. So, heading away from that uh, spot where they thought the Medicor might be, and you can basically start to spot the tanks on the hill. That's the FB, FB 103 again. And he gets taken out. Pretty much almost in one shot by an FE4005 and they're starting to even out the game now he's been spotted again and he quickly gets back into cover almost probably from the uh, TDs on the hill there and <laughs> Yagpanzer E100 gets taken out in successive hits by Waffen Traeger so getting his revenge absolutely now he wants to Get that E4 taken out. So he's coming up through the bushes carefully. Oh, Progetto 65, who hasn't realised he's been spotted, <laughs> and he gets taken out as well. Here, 4005 taking out the Progetto. So that's up to nearly 7k of assisted damage here. He's only had one damaging shot, but that's okay. He's uh, starting to pick up a swathe of um, hit points in. Assist damage there, 
and he dodges an incoming round here. Oh no, he's being shot again, <laughs> takes him down to 331, and the Waffen Traeger gets damaged as a result. So that's taking him up to over 8k now, but he still wants to get that E4 removed from E4 coming towards him, so before he gets spotted, he wants to move out of the way. And he's been spotted again, so he's got to really run for his life here. A couple of Waffen Traegers. And he decides to turn around and run away again. Oh, and there's a Waffen Traeger. Oh no, he's been snapped out by <laughs> Waffen Traeger with 23 hit points. Well, that's the end of Fury's game. That is pretty sad. And right now, his team's in a commanding position. Not the least because of Fury's actions there in terms of spotting. And they continue to make uh, more inroads. And they're basically closing in on these remaining tanks here. The two Waffen Traegers, one on very low hit points and one on not very many hit points. So we're just going to ride with the rest of the tanks while they close out this game. This has turned into quite a short game actually. This, um, just about halfway through the, the 15 minute time period. And they're just dealing with this um, AMX M4 54. Come on guys, kill it. <laughs> it's a uh, fury shaking <laughs> the camera there on the uh, 705A driver. At least I don't think it is. Maybe it is. Oh, he's bounced off the AMX. That's uh, not a great result. But uh, in any case, it gets taken out, and now it's just the E100 who's left. Now we've got Leopard 1 finishing off the game here. And that is the end of the game, yeah, with um, 8 minutes to go. Alright, so looks like showing 9.5k spotting. Let's see what the real result is. Well, he's actually got 10.6k of assisted damage there, um, and another. 400 of course for the one shot he got into the STB1 so that's 11k combined that's nice he's got the patrol duty medal and the scout medal perfect for a light tank but only a second class battle reward so let's have a look at the team score all right he's finished actually in second place to the leopard one who finished off the uh, last tank there but not by much so 1008 um, so yeah, there must be some pretty high results in the Manticore these days. Uh, and his team, some, what have we got? Two, two doing over 4K, the FV4005, who managed to get five kills, and the um, one of the Waffen Traegers getting 4.4, and on the enemy side, that Abanx M4 that was getting finished off um, had done 4K, and the E4 actually did 3.4K, so, yeah, some good plays there on both sides, and it was a bit close for a little while, but uh, in the end they got overwhelmed, and it was pretty much down to Fury spotting. I'm surprised he didn't get a little bit more um, EXP than he did. But nonetheless, uh, that's really what it's about, um, trying to use those map features to your advantage. Um, but uh, yeah, it's pretty dangerous being on top of the hill there and getting spotted <laughs> and being shot across the other side of the map. All right, so we've got the economic side. Um, only fired two shots, one hit, and that penetrated. And uh, the rest of it, free damage as it was. He had some battle payments running, and he actually made a nice little profit, even though he paid for all these consumables there. So, all right, nice game there from Fury. Hopefully you learned something from that. Uh, and if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing that. Learn more great content to follow. Thanks very much for watching.